And then norms are binding is the fifth one. In other words, the Sharia recognizes norms within a society, what's called orf and ada. And for instance, if it's a, an orf in a culture, to say, for instance, uh, the way they divorce would, would be like a, you know, a word that maybe the Sharia doesn't mention in the books, but that's the norm in that culture. Like to say, you're free. Right? Anti harra. And that's the way they say you're divorced, then that's binding. You can't say, I didn't say anti taliq. Right? He he used a, a, a local customary practice and that is binding if if So if you say it in English it's okay. even if it's in English. Right. You know? Like here it's we're through. <laughs> <laughs> right? In America we're through, that's it, we're through. Right? That could be binding if, that, if that's the intention. You know, this marriage is dissolved, it's over. So, and that's why a Qadi has to know the language of a people. He has to know when a Qadi comes in, he has to understand the people's psychology, he has to understand their mentality. Imam al Shafi said when he was in Iraq, they had a very, very high level of discourse. And then he went to Egypt. The Egyptians were less sophisticated than the Iraqis, and he said, I had to take my, you know, nazeltu fa nazeltu fa, you know, he said, I went down and down to, to explain things more clearly to them. Because in Iraq, he was talking at a level, the Iraqis were very sophisticated, cultured people. When he went to Egypt, they were, you know, more simple. He's not saying there's anything wrong with that. say that we can wait to Abdullah, who does not understand this culture, comes here? No, no, he knows it very well. He's lived here. In fact, four years is, is the oh, time. Oh, I thought, I thought she, the Sheikh Abdullah from Mauritania. No, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna tell him all about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, but like Sheikh Abdullah, Abdullah, if you live yeah, in a place four know. years, right? Isn't it four years? Nisba. No, I didn't mean him. Like, I mean, I like uh, Sheikh Abdullah used to be al Ahsai, right? It means he's from al Ahsa. Now he's al Portlandi, because <laughs> right? he lived in Portland for. It's where you got the Portland. <laughs> 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 That's what the man would say. No, he's fine. Is there any uh, order if there's a contract? I mean, each one of them have different qualities. There, there, there is something related to what's called darurat, uh, hajiyat, and tahsinat. And there, that is how things are categorized. There are things called necessities, and those are things in which the five kulliyat are, are jeopardized. And in that position, that's always above hajiyat. So for instance, uh, food is a necessity, and that's why it's permitted to eat pork if you're, if you're dying of hunger, because pork is from the, you know, it's from the, the uh, is pork a haji, is from hajiyat? Shahadallah. Is pork prohibited from tahsinat? It's tahsinat, isn't it? Because it's qadirat. Pork. Pork. It's tahsinat. Yeah. Pork is from the third category, from tahsinat. Like najasa is from tahsinat. Which are those, I mean, if you look at the way I was taught, if, because with the people I studied also with, they said that the ha, the darurat are like the shelter. It's a necessity to have shelter. And the hajiyat are like the doors and the windows. And then the tahsinat are like the, the furniture in the house. This is numbers here, that's what you said? No, no, no. This is related to uh, categorizing things of level of importance. In, in, in medical language, you'd call it triaging. In other words, like in, in, in an intensive care unit, if somebody comes in, his head's chopped off. And then there's a person next to him that's saying, I've got a really bad headache. You deal with the guy with his hand chopped off. You don't worry about the headache until, right? Oh, no, headache. Hand chopped off. Yeah, this hand chopped off, you can deal with the headache. <laughs> <laughs> so, what time is it? A bottle of wine. 
Yeah, the five. Yeah, the five. The the uh, deen, nafs. Yeah, I explained that to him. The darurat are related to if they will uh, jeopardize any of those five things that moves into darurat, and the hadiyat are those things that are make you live. Uh, make you live. Yeah, it would be undue duress. And then the tahsinat, it <coughs> makes life un, you know, it's, yeah, it's just not uh, enriched. Anything else? I like that. Oh, Hamza, inshallah, wants to make shahada because he's never done this officially. So, alhamdulillah. And this is, mashallah, Abdul Hai's son. And so, um, uh, we'll just, Bismillah, we'll say the Shahada, inshallah. Um, just repeat after me. You know the Shahada, so repeat after me. And I know he knows everything, so he's doing this, you know, based on knowledge. And so I don't have to go over five pillars or anything like that. So we just say, in, in presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as our witness, and then the Muslim community, uh, Ashhadu. Allah ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah ashhadu Allah ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah ashhadu Allah ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alhamdulillah That's, you know, it's a big thing Shahada, great thing, it's a big thing